I'm experiencing fall in Lake Chelan and I'm doing all of the things for wine harvest, including hay rides, wagon rides, tasting a lot. So here goes nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wanna stomp these grapes so bad. This looks so cool. We're gonna have to put a life jacket on you. <laughs> if we put a hype in here. test. What do we think? Will I be able to survive? Up to your neck. <laughs> Seattle. I'm your host Kelly Hansen. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and as always if you like it hit that like and subscribe. Where am I? My favorite place in the world Lake Chelan and I am showing you all the fun activities to do in fall and I have a jam-packed schedule so we just need to get started right now. Let's go. This is the Dolce Vita expression of the Italian sweet life. And so we're gonna do some Italian vineyard rides into the Sangiovese vineyards. You'll get to taste the wine, you get to taste the grapes that are grown in that Sangiovese vineyard. And it's going to be literally from the vineyard to the bottle to your enjoyment. I just love to share my passion. Everybody thinks you're just waiting for the grapes to get ripe. That's not the only thing they're looking for. I still don't speak Italian fluently, so you have to forgive me. The nets are to keep the birds out of the grapes. Now, when you see a vineyard that has no nets, that's already been harvested this year. Cheers! Where am I? Yeah, so you're in the main production room right now. So it, it serves a bunch of purposes. Right now it's main fermentation time, so we have fermentation in the tanks. We use the store ferment. You'll see barrels in here that have wine in them or they just came off the boat from France that we're gonna be using here in the next couple months. Oh my gosh, I wanna stomp these grapes so bad. This looks so cool. We're gonna have to put a life jacket on you. <laughs> we put a you in here. Test. What do we think? Will I be able to survive? Up to your neck. Taste test time. I'm drinking alone, but here we are. Cheers. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, so this is wine's about, a, about an hour old. This is an hour old? So you're gonna have to wait another 18 months, and then we'll bottle it, and then you gotta wait another six months, and then you can have a bottle. Mm. I can honestly say I have never had hour old wine, so <laughs> first for everything. <laughs> With more than 40 wineries now in Chelan, there's many choices on where to go. My next two stops showed me around their production spaces and vineyards, starting off on the North Shore at Lake Chelan Winery. It's known for being the pioneer of the Lake Chelan wine industry, and one you absolutely cannot miss for their barbecue nights and more. We're ready to go for a walk, follow me. Yay! We wanna see the seeds. We wanna make sure they're somewhat brown. If we have a lot of green seeds, then we know our fruit isn't gonna be ripe or up to spec. There we go. Yeah, we're looking at about 24 bricks. Next, Fielding Hills Winery on the South Shore. Such a stunning location with views for days. I met their winemaker and went on a Grape 101 tour through the vineyards, learning all about their production. I feel like now I know a lot more about the wine industry and I'm having such a blast during wine harvest. Huh? Very sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah, much sweeter than I would have expected. <laughs> The wonders of ancestry is we really take the opportunity to explore the past of where our wines came from. I started making wine as a kid with my grandpa growing up down in Gig Harbor, and every year he'd let me help out a little bit. So that was the initial thing, an initial theme for ancestry. Primarily Bordeaux style blends for our reds, and then on the white wine front, we do a really great lineup of Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc, plus a really spectacular rose. All of our wines have these really cool little family stories tied into them and we're talking about things like our Grandma Lila's Rosés. We're right in the heart of downtown Manson. We do our production in another facility, so today we're gonna to be doing a little talk we call a Taste of the Tank, where we get a chance to bring some of those samples from the tank to you here in the tasting room. We've got this beautiful little bit of our 2016 Rejouissant Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, wow. I love Sauvignon Blanc. I mean, this is 
absolutely fantastic. The finish on that is so amazing. 2022 is Yuisan Sauvignon Blanc. Here's. This is the current release 2022. Ooh, I can't decide. And we have our newest addition that is still in process. Went down to the winery this morning. And we do this for every taste of the tank and grab some samples from those tanks. So this is our 2023 Sauvignon Blanc. Still hazy because those yeast are in there. They've already wrapped up their job. It is finished with fermentation, but super bright, super young. This looks like kombucha, but it's not. It's literally the Sauv Blanc that's still in the tank. A little tart, but still definitely delicious. If I have to pick, I'm going for the library wine too. It's, it's a new term in my <laughs> vocabulary. I'm all about the 2016. This was so fun. Young wine, old wine, all of it wine. Delicious wine. <laughs> Next is a hayride. I see it. Hey, right time. Throughout the vineyard are scarecrows. Yeah. And you're to count the scarecrows as we go. And if you get them all right, the exact number, okay. you get a gift certificate. Woohoo! Hold on to your hat. It's a, it's a little bumpy of a hayride. <laughs> I'm in love. It's the first time, and I'm really impressed. It's just so beautiful to see these beautiful mountains and, you know, and the, in the, in the water. And the water and, and all these wineries, the wine tastes so good. It's just like uh, amazing. I mean, bliss. Go I got it! You won! <laughs> My jam packed fall weekend in Chelan didn't stop there. I checked out Vin du Luc and their amazing U Pick Garden. So we'll plant a bunch of stuff that will overwinter. So we've got kale and lettuce. So already starting next March, we'll have lots of fresh stuff for the bistro again. And actually, a lot of this stuff, our beets and Things like that, we'll keep harvesting right on until November, until everything gets covered with snow in December. It's kind of like a work of art. I mean, I think about winemaking and cooking as kind of art, and this is just an extension of that art. When we have these rows all planted and everything's symmetrical and it's green and it's alive, it's like a painting to me. A fall strawberry taste test. Mmm. Okay, I'm here for it. This is like the biggest cherry tomato I've ever seen. Now I get to actually taste this food in their amazing dishes at the Bistro. Vin du Luc, if you haven't been here, it is truly one of my favorite stops for food. And I can't believe I'm giving you my secret list and stop, but you're welcome. Taste test time. Fresh, stunning, highly, highly recommend. As the kids say, this slaps. And if you're wondering if I'm eating alone, because I feel like when I eat alone, everyone thinks that I'm a food critic. I'm not, I made friends. <laughs> Hello! Yeah! Hello! <laughs> I'm ruining their date night, but it's okay. <laughs> Always welcome. Next, I was off to Succession Wines for a members only black and white party, but I, you know, snuck in. I had amazing food there thanks to Chef Maximilian from Eden Hill Restaurant, and I even won the raffle. <laughs> Rounding out my weekend, of course, was the annual Brews on the Bridge event. This was a completely sold out event. The historic bridge was packed full of locals and delicious ales and ciders. Lake Chelan, as you can see, is my happy place, and fall might be the best kept secret. But I guess, now you know. Thank you so much for watching this Local Lens Seattle. And of course, if you liked it, hit that like and subscribe. I had an absolute blast. This is truly the happiest place on earth, in my opinion. So beautiful in the fall, highly recommend. Tons of activities, I'll have all of that information in the YouTube description, and I will see you in my next adventure. Bye!